Got it running today. Put this tire wheel on. Uh, charging the battery. It would run, and then it would go dead if you started running it much. It just go because of fuel situation, fuel shut off. So I got the fuel filter off, fuel line disconnected, and I got to tell people these internationals are a good tractor. Got to get another ram for this, big time. Change that other side. Both of them were rusty, but this one's holding there. These internationals have got one more heck of a system on them. You've got two lines right here. There's one hose or one line. There's the other metal line in the back. My finger was messing the focus up. This tank on the back of these things is kind of big saddle tank. It goes across. So you've got fuel down on this side, then it crosses over, goes over this side. You've got a line here that goes right here behind the top link piece, crossing over. You've got two fittings over here. All right. I disconnected the fuel line up here at the fuel filter, and no fuel, or very little fuel. So blew through it. Of course, you hear the normal stoppage sound and stuff popping and blowing through in the tank. So once I did that, boom, get plenty of fuel. But I thought, well, let's just try that. Maybe it was just a small amount of trash in there, and we'll see what we can do. And Maybe that was all it needed. Wrong. I started out the driveway with it and made it to the end of the driveway and turned around and it went dead because it was out of fuel. All right, so I didn't want to fool with it. I took the sending unit out on this side, cap off on this side, which is easy enough, of course. And I took this long screwdriver right here and I scraped around. I don't think it, it was not, my dad was right, it was not really rusty. It was more like where it had sat and had a lot of really gummed up old fuel in it because it did break up pretty clean and came out. I, the only problem I ran into was getting one of these, you know, see you've got four fittings in the tank on that back side. It had four, it had three shutoffs and one just piece to go crossover. Well, in taking one of these out, I flexed this piece of brass ever so quietly, uh, quite, just a little bit. And then this piece wouldn't thread into it. So I gotta get a, another one of them. Then I'll be able to put all this back together. And hopefully that'll fix my fuel issue and everything will run, hopefully. But like I say, I had some junk in here. I gotta get, he's gonna take a cylinder right there off. You can tell it's wet and leaking. He started unbolting that. Get that off and then uh, get that fixed and he's gonna get that fitting and then I've got this is my new wheel or cleaner better wheel it's not rusty it's good in good shape and uh, but I'll get the other wheel he's got to do some work to it hopefully get that other tire we can put on the other side and uh, yeah we'll get this taken care of slowly but surely but uh, anyway uh, that's how the 454 program is going. Nice little tractor, runs great, drives great, everything works great, lift, everything. Everything works great. Everything is freed up and working good. Just need to, it's, it's better if you got fuel problems with something, you better to just bite the bullet. Yet yeah, it, it's always aggravating to say, I gotta take a tank off or I gotta get into it and, and, and go that route because yeah, you're gonna get dirty. Most likely, well, I am. I can't stay clean when I get around to it grease and the diesel and all this stuff you just get you just get dirt, dirty and uh, is what it is ideally yeah taking the tank off would be the best thing and shaking it and getting it all out but we got most all of it out it's pretty clean inside uh, I feel confident enough that I can we can put it back together and I would have if I hadn't messed that fitting up but I didn't know any way how to get that out without messing that fitting up and uh, anyway, uh, is what it is, but your best to go and bite the bullet and clean your fuel system the best you can and get it as good as you can. And that's, that's Milkshake. She came out here to help.
You can see a lot of help, too. I mean, if you don't have good help, you can't get nothing done. And that's milkshake.